What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel, it's me Kaza the Bull bringing you some content on Infinity Magic Raid and how you should spend your hard earned money. If you are spending, I'm sure a lot of you are going to be free to play but if you're spending, this is how effectively you do want to spend, okay. So we'll go ahead and go straight into the store. Now we do get a growth fund. Um, it is very rewarding, but it does take a long time for us to progress through these levels, okay? You're not going to be getting up super fast. So you can always wait a little bit and then say once you get to that level 40, then I'll go, okay, I want to buy the pack now. Because it's just more cost effective for you to be getting more at once rather than investing right away when you could be putting it somewhere else, for instance. Um, so I would hold off just a little bit, just a little bit, and then um, and buy this pack once you've got more rewards to collect. Uh, the diamond shop is a first top up it will double the diamonds you get for your first top up now there is a little factor here okay some of you may be looking at the prices and going hang on a minute that's changed something happened i don't know what i don't know why i don't know how um but the prices have increased in store since beta for global by 15 percent. i have asked questions i haven't heard anything back yet but i have asked because I am unsure why they are increasing the price by 15%. 6,500 diamonds used to be 89.99. As you can see, it's 104.99. Now, this isn't just on the diamonds. This is across the whole store. So there's been a whole store increase of 15%, uh, which means we need to be even more careful on what we're buying. Um, so don't overspend. Spend within reason and uh, just 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 be reasonable okay um of course the the first top up is nice because we get a bonus of that um unless you're whaling then you're not going to be really buying into the pure uh, currency of diamonds now the resource shop does give you offers like stamina which is reduced and uh, multi-battle stamina which is very effective if you're um, busy you're doing something you want to leave it doing its thing it will have a certain amount of multi-battle stamina to use um, so some of you will be investing into this so you can leave it do its thing while you're dungeon farming um, Other than that, it's it's just a stamina you want to buy. I would leave everything else I would leave everything else because it's just excellent runes are not worth 120 diamonds. Okay, they're not worth 1200 for 11 either um, Just leave it alone Leave it alone. Take each day as it comes. The weekly card is very good It is very good because we get an excellent wish we get um, um an experience potion which is needed we get a few diamonds and some more stamina to spend um this is a very good buy it's 299 but we do get our money's worth here we do get our money's worth uh privileges now this is one that everyone really wants to buy even if you're free to play okay even if you're free to play which you're kind of not going to be free to play if you're buying privileges um it is like a subscription in game but it is very rewarding in the fact that you know the campaign also drop rewards are up 50 percent um the key to tower of mark cap is plus three the coin cost for enhancing your equipment is minus five percent and you also get an extra 20 attempts at multi-battle per day now max campaign auto drop duration extends by 12 hours which is nice because that's what we claim uh, daily dispatch quest of three more and the max guild boss stamina is one so that's basically giving you an extra hit on your guild boss which is also very nice and your guild will be thankful if you have that now essentially this one is quite a big one okay the period packs the period packs are very big um stay away <laughs> stay away from the daily packs the only thing you want to be buying from the daily pack and that's if you're willing to spend your money is the experience packs um, because they are so needed i would leave everything else here alone if this is just not worth it in my eyes in my eyes um and believe me i've i've had the chance especially with uh, with bailey to to go through this store and try and work it efficiently okay uh, the weekly pack again is not fantastic other than the experience pack um this just isn't <laughs> i mean 15 pound for one wish no stay away the hero exclusive pack this isn't bad okay because this is effectively a duplicate of um an epic hero we have so we can increase his exclusive so say you have whim and you want the next exclusive ability which is very effective i will add um we can buy this and then we can upgrade him instantly without having to summon him again um uh, i'm not buying that so obviously our free pack experience packs are worth 
Um, the Hero exclusive pack, a lot of people will find that worth buying. I would steer away from the advanced skill pack too. We're going get, to be getting enough of these early on in free rewards to, to be worrying about buying these. Okay, the monthly pack. Now we get three Miracle Wishes for free each month. Better than nothing. Okay, we get 200 diamonds as well. The, once again, the experience pack is very good. The experience pack is very good. Now, we will look down towards the general exclusive packs, and people are going to be thinking, holy crap, that's £105. That's a lot of money. Yes, it is a lot of money, but it is to increase the exclusive ability of your legend hero. Now, a lot of people will find this absolutely amazing because it means they don't need to worry about summoning another legend of the same. You know, and it's rare enough to summon a legend. So to have this, you know, available, yes, it costs the money. But if you're wanting to support the game and you're wanting to put the money in and you're wanting that exclusive ability on your hero, you're going to buy it. It's that simple. You're going to. Uh, some of you will say that's pay to win. It's personal preference. OK, if you have the money, why not? If, they, if that's going to make them enjoy the game more, do it. Um, now, the Deluxe Wish Pack, the, it, it, these Supreme Rooms are the best for getting legends in the game. It's an 8% chance. Now, if you do have the money and you are investing, buy these, okay, buy them, because they are that good. This is probably the best you're gonna get. And also you're gonna be advancing your skill scrolls uh, with this by three each time, which is very nice too. So we're getting the, the abilities up on our heroes. Um, so the experience pack, the general exclusive pack, the deluxe wish pack, are very good you could argue on the advanced wish pack but it isn't quite as a good rate as the deluxe wish pack as you can see it's a seven to one and that's a ten to three for an extra 33 so we're getting three more uh wishes and we're getting two more scrolls if you look back at how much they was in the daily sorry the weekly for one wish 15 pound and for one scroll was 15 pound so that speaks dividends. That is a better saving if you're willing to spend that kind of money. Okay, I'm not. Some people think I'm talking crazy right now, but there are people who will spend that. Okay, so now obviously we get our flash packs and our value packs. Now some of these are very good. I still don't value ten excellent wishes uh, at ten forty nine. It may be two hundred percent. It's saying that it, it, no, don't get debated by this. Just don't. It, it's. It's still not worth it, not for 10 wishes. The chance of getting a legend from that is something like 0.8% or 0.7% maybe. Um, so it's just not worth it. The chosen packs are pretty good and that's purely because of the stamina, the gold for enhancing our equipment and also the energy potion. Uh, experience potions, sorry guys. The experience potions, these are so vital and this pack alone is worth that, just for these three. Consider the, the wishes a little bonus. Um, nope. Don't touch it. Okay, so we've just come from the monthly section. This is saying it's 180% extra for 104.99, but it's actually less than what we get from the monthly store, which is 10 rooms and three scrolls for 104.99. So how is that 180% extra? Is that basing it off of um, what they are to cost just individually? Maybe. So yeah, steer away from it. It's not a great pack if you haven't brought the monthly packs and you're looking to invest. The runestone packs, um, I haven't been playing since the auras have come into play. So I'm yet to be able to give you information on that. So I won't be giving information on that. I'm just unsure. I don't want to misinform you. Mixed Wish Pack, which is one, this see, it's hard guys, because what you can have, like some people will be saying, yeah, I'll buy that, and some people will be going, no way, no way, so it's very hard for me to tell you how to spend your money, okay, I mean, I, I would be into, if I had the money, then maybe, yeah, okay, I would probably buy this one, just because it has the Miracle, uh, the Supreme Wish, and has six excellence, but it's not an amazing pack, okay, it's not an amazing pack, again, it says 250% extra, don't be persuaded by these stickers all right just don't be persuaded by these stickers now in this game we do get offered equipment packs okay as we progress through 
you will be offered it in different variations a four star five star and six star actually you will never get offered a four star because it's trash you will get offered five stars and six stars so i would well, it may be a bit cheaper than this actually for the five stars i cannot remember but if you're looking for that quick influx of an improvement to your account then these are good yes but it's a very whale like feature um so yes if you have the money buy it if you have the money always buy packs but make sure that a good set a good set that this is a defensive set with effect resistance <laughs> i'm not going to be buying this because of that it's a guardian set uh, you know unless you're using tanky heroes then we could debate that the artifacts again these can be very handy and i do know people that will buy these especially this being a speed one um, then with random attributes it is worth it because it's pure speed um, so yes just be aware of what you're selecting what you're buying because if this wasn't speed then you could say mm, no I don't want it and the value packs the value packs are always very good the value packs are always very good you can see this this is quite a large percentage so I don't really need to argue with this sticker you know it's one pound for 240 diamonds which is good again 500% extra a thousand diamonds these are good. You cannot complain this. You're going to get offered a lot. Okay, you're going to get offered a lot. And don't think just because that timer is running out that there won't be more. Because there will be more. You can guarantee it. There will be more. Another thing to add is once you five uh, five star one of your heroes with dragon eggs, you will get a dragon egg offer pop up, and it will be very valuable because it will be. I think you can get two dragon eggs for a set price, uh, which are five star dragon eggs. And uh, every time you five star a hero, that will pop up. So be aware of that. It is a limited one. Okay, that one is limited. All of these other ones, they pop back up. So don't feel pressured into buying them. But there are some limited ones, like the uh, the Dragon Egg offers. Okay, so we've gone through the store. I hope that's given you a little bit of a, an inkling of to what to buy, what to not to buy. Um, and yeah, okay, it may have been a little bit cringe where we're talking about all this money in a mobile game, but some people will find this information valuable. I hope all of you found it valuable, whether to you want to spend or you don't want to spend. That's absolutely fine. If you want to support the game more, then you can spend. If you're enjoying yourself, you can spend. I'm Kaz at the Bull. Thank you for watching my video. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and you'll see more future content of me.